Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is Ashley and Grayson with our full time adventure. What are we up to? We are replacing the stovetop in our truck camper. I think it's a suburban two burner propane LPS, whatever you want to call it, stovetop with an Impava 12 inch induction cooktop. So we're gonna do this, it's gonna be a pretty quick DIY for you guys to learn. We think it's gonna be pretty quick. At least the video will make it seem pretty quick. <laughs> but stay tuned and watch how I do this. So there's no propane in this rig. Their tanks are disconnected. We actually left them with the previous owner. So there's no worry about any type of propane issues like we had in our previous rig because there is no propane and there will never be more propane. So yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit the bell. Make sure you're subscribed because we're about to do what's never been done. Not only on this truck camp, not only for this stove top, but for a lot of things we're doing to this rig. And you don't want to miss out, right? Right. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. Grab your handy dandy drill. Just to have it in your hand. Click it once because we love doing that, don't we? <laughs> so you're going to open up. It's actually a Dometic burner. You're going to open up the top. And as you see on the corners, there's these little black things. You're going to want to remove those. And it's going to then reveal a number one square bit, which we have. Put it on there. Right? Get it on there. And I haven't watched the video, but this just makes the most sense cut. Come in. Take it on our move out four, and we'll show you what we do after that. So, all four number one squares, or whatever you want to call those, are removed. I don't have like a multi tool, so I just rigged myself up something here. I literally stuck a flathead, get a flathead screwdriver, and as you see, this like glue all the way around. So I kind of got some off, and now honestly, it really just lifts up. So you're going to remove that. Remove that, right? And as you see here, there's a propane line. We don't have propane anymore. So I'm gonna go get a, a proper wrench to remove this. And it's pretty simple, like that's, that's really it. You need one of these little, I just wanna call it a vice grip, call it what you want. Three quarter inch wrench. And it's funny cause this line, these lines right here, that's literally it. This is now removed. But these lines are so thick and noticeable that I can actually remove them if I want to, which I might. Only because it's, I'd rather not have any, I'd rather have no regulator, no anything. I don't want any sign that there was propane in here. Just because it's a lot for us. So I can probably remove it. I probably will just because I can. Pull it out, pull this drawer out, right? Put that over here and I mean the fridge runs off propane but there's no propane so the fridge doesn't really run at all right now. But I could eventually go all the way through here. Oh, you guys just saw something you weren't supposed to see. Comment down below if you know what you saw. All right? And don't be sneaky about it. No. Because you might've seen it. And if you did, you know we got big plans coming. But if you didn't, you have to wait. But yeah, I'm gonna remove this line eventually. I'm getting most of it removed out of this cabinet for now. And I'll remove the rest once we get there because I know it gets into the back of the fridge, which it doesn't run off propane anymore because we have no propane. It runs off a of DC as well, which is nice. So I can pull this off. I can go behind the fridge, pull it off the fridge, and even cap the fridge off where the propane goes in. But we might be removing that too. Not sure what's talking about that. But yeah, I can run this line all the way back in there. And this actually goes behind these drawers and then comes under here and goes out to the regulator. So they're really, the only things that run on propane are this, this, and the Aldi heater. So the line should be pretty simple to remove. So this is the cooktop we got off of Facebook Marketplace. We're gonna put the Amazon link down below. It's about $239-ish on Amazon. We paid $100 off of Facebook Marketplace, but it's an Impava, 12 inch this way, by about 20 inches, because the hole was originally like 17. So I actually have to, from here to here, make the make another slit for it, or make the hole bigger, and all the way around, the same thing, just a little bit, so this will fit in there. It's actually supposed to go up and down, but we're gonna do left to right, just because of our space here. And it wouldn't fit either and way. And it wouldn't fit up and down either, yeah. It's like, that's like 20 something inches or something. I don't know what I said. 17, I think this is like 20. So it would actually hang off the counter. So it actually has an outlet, so we're gonna have to wire an outlet under the sink so it can plug in 
and the wiring of the outlet will not be in this video. Looks pretty sweet, matches this, our sink here, and it's a lot safer for us, so. Stay tuned as I cut our new rig. So I drew a little line around it. Shout out to Jeremy in. I always do that for some reason. <laughs> that was their pen. And couldn't have done it without them? Couldn't have done it without them. Of course not. Um, this is scary, but we're going to do it anyways. <laughs> well, because it has these blocks, and I don't really need those anymore because the bottom of this unit doesn't have something to secure it in like that. You literally just drop it in. Put some sealant around the corners, basically some glue, epoxy, whatever you want to do. Probably do liquid nails so it doesn't move. Too much. It's pretty scary. I'm hoping I made the right measurement. I only measured once to cut twice. All right guys, so as you see, I got most of our little square cut out. Don't mind this circular part. This is from the original, so it'll fit in there. It's actually supposed to be close, like I said. But obviously with this corner, I couldn't get much closer with our circular saw. So I thought, I said, what do I have? Well, Ashley actually said to me, what do we have that we can cut it? She goes, I actually know what we can cut it with. She's like, we have that multi-tool. So let me show you this multi-tool. Super sick, comes with this case. It's by Caliper, Caliper Cormet. Gourmet. Caliber Gourmet. <laughs> Look at that. 24 karat gold, not actually. But shout out <laughs> to Off Good Ready in Townsend, Tennessee. We're going to put their website in the link below. And they have so much stuff to, I mean, they have multi tools. They have just the craziest things. Those little, fi like the silver fire pits, I forget what they're called, but they're awesome. The wood ones. Um, they have anything you can think of if you're looking to get off grid. They have solar, batteries, so on and so forth. So check them out. We're gonna use this multi-tool right here. I'm gonna look for the saw if I can find it. Uh, I think it's right here. The saw, the saw. Here we go. Bam. Nope, that's a knife. <laughs> this has a lot of stuff on it. There we go. Has a lot of stuff on it. So this is how I'm gonna cut the rest of the corner out. So stay tuned for when it's out. Beast. Boom. Sick. Look at that. So again, check them out. So, holes cut. That saw is great. Countertop's pretty interesting. Like when you hit it with the saw for a second, it like cracks off. So, this is all gonna be covered. But, I made the hole too good, which is what we want. We don't want it moving. And we figured out that we wouldn't even need epoxy or anything to hold it in. Because it stays in, it's pretty hard to put in. So, we'll still seal around it. This is how you put it in. Bam. And that's it. We're probably, I would say seal around it, but it actually comes with a seal. If you look under there, there's actually a rubber seal already. So that's that. The only thing that needs to be left or done is we're gonna run a plug from this outlet under so you can plug it in. But besides that, I mean, it's pretty much done. It just needs power to it. So, I mean, for now, we can easily just run an extension cord under it because we have a lot of rewiring to do anyway. So, when we do the rewiring for something else that we're doing, I will run an outlet down there so it plugs in, turns on, turns off. I mean, it's pretty easy. It was kind of time consuming to cut that perfect hole, but. How long do you think it took? 45 minutes. She's smiling. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's probably more like an hour and a half. No way. We'll go back on the foot on the camera and see we'll when we first filmed it. I'll put it here how long it actually took. Then, all right, so I'm in the car now editing the video, and I just realized that I must have put my hand over the microphone while I was talking and doing the outro. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that it was helpful to you, whether or not you are going to replace yourself. Hopefully, you still like the video. So please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Like a light, lighting up